A multimeter is an expensive tool that you can have around the house to measure things like voltage, current, and continuity, which is what we're going to use today to test Christmas lights. Sometimes you might have a bulb loose or burnt out or missing and you're not sure where it is. Well, you can use one of these to test certain things. You can test the, uh, the fuses and the light strings. You can test the outlet. You put one probe in the outlet and another in a socket about halfway to see if voltage is going through. If it is, then you can go further, test another random socket. And if voltage is not going through there, then you know it's the problem bulb is between the outlet and wherever you test it. So let's use one of these tools to test Christmas lights. So what you see in here is a strand of 200 Christmas lights or holiday lights. These particular ones are incandescent bulbs. They're not LEDs. These are wired in series up to about 50 of these. That means that when power comes in through the first one, it goes through the second one, and then the next one, and so on, all the way through for 50. There are several strands, depending on how many lights are in the, the total string of lights, but several of those strands will be wired in parallel, meaning that one strand of 50 can go out and the rest can be lit. So if that's your case, then you probably have a problem with one of the bulbs. If the entire string is out, then you might have a problem elsewhere. For example, you may not even have power going to the outlet, whether it's interior or exterior. You can see if your outlet is wired correctly with one of these outlet testers that often come with a multimeter. A multimeter has several different settings, like a voltmeter that measures voltage, either AC, like in your house, or DC, like in some electronics. You can measure resistance in ohms. You can measure continuity, which is essentially the same thing, but it beeps if there is a connection. You can measure batteries, 9 volts or 1.5 volts. Also is DC voltage, but it's just an easy setting to see if your batteries are working. And you can measure current in amps. High current, you can use this 10 amp part here, otherwise the black stays in calm. And the red lead, these are called the leads, goes in the other one. This isn't really often used to check Christmas lights. I did another video on several different ways you can troubleshoot. For example, you may have an outlet that doesn't work. That's not getting power. Your outlet may have a switch that you don't even realize is off. Uh, you may not be getting power to the wire because there might be a damaged wire. In that case, you probably should just replace it. Uh, or you might have a problem with a Christmas bulb. Christmas light bulb. And the bulb might be out, it might have blown. You often will see like a, like a smoky, like a black mark on a bulb. Because remember, the entire string will be out, so it'll be difficult to, to find which bulb is the bad bulb if you don't want to replace the whole string. Another thing is it might be an easy fix because one of these that are loose or missing, as you can see, the rest of them work. So if this is just kind of sitting there, you have to look and see on that string that's out and push each one. There you go. See, I pushed it all the way in. It made the connection and the lights turned on. So push each one on the string. That's one troubleshooting. Another issue is the, if you're wiring, as you can see, these are meant to have another string of lights. It's not really meant to plug other things into it, but you can string a few of these strings together up to a maximum. This particular one says four strings of 200 lights each, and that's it. The problem is if you put other things on it, or if you put too much, too many lights on it, it's too much of current and too much of a load 
and it may either shut the breaker off in your house, which you can also check to see if that's the problem, or blow a fuse in your house, or blow the fuses that are inside this string. Right near the plug, you'll see that there are a couple of fuses. Your replacement bulb pack should have replacement fuses as well. You can test those fuses with a multimeter on the continuity setting and see if they're good. If not, if it doesn't beep when you connect the two leads to the ends of each of the ends of the fuse. Continuity setting and testing leads on each side of the fuse. But it's got like a uh, sound symbol right there. That's the continuity setting. See, it beeps when there's a connection. That's a connection. And you can test each bubble as well. It's kind of tedious. But you can put them together and you test the metal parts. Okay, so that bulb is good. And you would do that with each of the 50 bulbs on the strings out. And then the one that's bad, you replace it. That's if after you pushed everyone in and it doesn't work. Uh, so that's a way to use the multimeter. You can also do things like check the connection. As you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see, but you have wires going to each bulb. That wire you know is a hot wire because you have a hot and neutral wire coming from the house. Each one of these has a wire going to it that's hot. One of these other might have another, might be the other strands, another hot wire going to the next strands, and then another one is a neutral wire that's not connected to any of them. You can connect for continuity on that by plugging in in one side, in one outlet on the neutral wire, in the neutral, and then the other one on the other side in the neutral, not plugged, in neutral outlet. And if it beeps for continuity, then it's good. If it doesn't, then it's bad. But that's a little more. You should be able to see if there's any nicks, because the wire will go bad if it's if the connection is broken. And if there's any exposed metal, exposed copper, you can put electric tape over that. If it's just a little bit of a nick in the insulation, uh, but you got to be careful with that because if you have exposed wires and it's broken, then you could have arcing, and it could cause a electrical fire. It's best to just replace any strings, any wires that are damaged in any way. It's best to just replace it. So you tested each one for continuity until you find the bad bulb and then you replace that bulb. If the fuses aren't beeping when you set it to the continuity setting, then replace the, the fuses. If it's still not lighting, if the whole thing isn't lighting, then like I said, you might batteries. have a problem with the outlet. If you still have one strand one that's not working, you may have a problem with the wiring mm. on just that one strand. The rest of the lights mm. could no. work because AA. it's connected you So you see parallel, 1 so the other strings so of 50 lights battery. each are getting power. But one might not, nine possibly bolts, because obviously of the broken bolts. wire. Double A, triple A, Inspect C, the wire D very carefully. Should all be uh, over 1.5 volts. Then you probably should just replace. If it goes the under 1.5, they start to, to go. Connect the copper and put electric some things tape might on. not work. But these are good, mm -hmm. handy tools to have. And they need to be replaced around the house anyway, because you can see you might have power coming, but it might be wired backwards. You might have an open ground, meaning there's no ground. This is the ground prong. The ground uh, is important, especially for in the kitchen and for using anything with a lot of a lot of amps it has to be able to uh, to go to ground so in that case you would get an electrician to come and look at your wiring these things are nice because they're non-contact voltage detector you just put it anywhere near a hot wire and it beeps so in that case but in the case of Christmas lights you should be able to see if voltage is going to that wire. It would be hard to expose just the wire if power isn't going through it. As you can see, so the, there's hot there's electricity coming up to here, but then it stops. So it doesn't go on this wire, but it is coming to here. So these are handy 
to see if this was a bad bulb, same thing. If it's a bad bulb, you have a non... See that? You have power going to a bulb and then it stops. So what's going on? So then you press this in or replace it and then you have power going to both sides. So in this case this was just loose but this could be obviously if that's missing that's easy to spot but this could be a bad bulb coming power going in but not the other side. And that means that it's this bulb is the problem. So this can be really handy to help you fix. This is a non-contact or a contactless voltage checker, voltage tester. All right, so obviously this is in a demonstration setting. These would be around a tree, around your house. It might be difficult to reach to these, but it's best to test these all before you string them up. And then if you have a problem, don't be uh, doing anything dangerous. If you're not comfortable with electricity at all, you should just get an electrician or just replace these. So that's the way you can use a multimeter and electrical tools that you should have around the house anyway. So that's about it. Good luck on your Christmas lights and Merry Christmas. <laughs>